And has put everything under our feet. Go and have your seat. It has put everything. All things. You see, when I walk, God really glorify us. More than the angels. And the reason is this why we must give thanks to Him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We humans we don't know how to give thanks to God. We are not always in the mood and destiny to give thanks to His name. If I look at the way we normally praise God, it's not funny. A day like this, sometimes ago, where we are, it is praises all through. We are praising God for good self are. In a time like this, then we don't discuss the word of God. It's praises all through. Praises all through. You will see those that God has bestowed with his blessings, they'll be rolling on the floor, praising God. A day like this is a day of praises all through. We need to know the work and appreciate the God that created all. It's, we don't know about God created us well. The mystery that God gave us is more than that. And there are some mysteries that God has given us that we human, we don't want to release ourselves so that we can enter into that mystery. He has given us the fullness of the world. And we know we ought to appreciate him and know his work. We ought to appreciate him and know his work. We ought to appreciate him and know his work. We ought to know how to praise God. The Bible says he created us for his praises. Because of praises. Not because of sin. Not because of sin. He created us for his praises. And we are not praising him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are the one that God has given us to coordinate and control this world that we have. I want to tell you some mysteries. There are some planets. The creatures that are there, we humans that are on the earth, we are better than them. They have treasures in those planets. They have a lot of treasures that we don't have in this world. And this world that we are in, we need it from them. Because what God is expecting from us, which we are not being, then we are not getting what we ought to get from those planets. God created us with humans very well. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.
when God gave me the privilege to work with some fathers, to go to heaven, meet some angels, this is of kindness. I know that God is deep and is full of mysteries. And when we come back, many will be thinking, what is this man saying? When we come back, Baba Maya will be telling us that that can you see those treasures in those planets that it belongs to we that were in this world but what we ought to be doing for God what we supposed to be doing for God if we are doing it that God will release some special praise for us because God has a lot of praise that are special. That the Father always made me to understand that the way God created us, He created us for His comfort. And what we don't have is that we don't have that act of holiness and not having this act of holiness is not allowing those treasures, those mysteries to flow into our lives. Let me tell you something. If you have that of holiness, and we we'll praise God, God will open the heavens that He ought not to open. To pour the treasures of knowledge unto us. And if someone the act of the act of holiness is also full of the praises of God. God will make such person to know what the world does not know. God will make him to know what the world does not know. Praises unto this God. Will collect some things from the hand of God. Will release the treasures of God unto his people. Praises unto God. There is a mystery there. We need to collect that which is scarred. We need to collect what the world does not have. Which is a solution to the world. Because we don't live a life of holiness, we don't have the attitude of holiness. He does not allow those treasures that we need to make his all to get into our hands. Praises is very good. When someone prays God, we make that person to know the deep mysteries of God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. At the particular point in time on the mountain of Ido Ibnari, see that mountain? The covenant of praises are there. If you are a minister of God, and God asks you to meet him up at the right the mountain, or one spend three weeks, or three months, or one month there, or one new cell days there, or three days there, if you are full of praises there, you will not finish the number of days that God has asked you to go and spend in His presence before He will release you that you should go. Because in this particular place, I your son standing before you. I know that God praises them. Great men of God, that only come there, they don't understand me. Who is 
In God, to a particular stage that you are suspecting me. I know what praises are. Before. 
Praises of God is powerful. By the time we open our eyes, he has been restored back to his former eyes. Immediately, I left the spirit realm back to the physical realm and I saw him, I was, I was shaking. Praises will open the way of solution to someone. I know what praises is to God. Through praises, you can collect what you don't have back. Let's use this as an example. You see those things in those days. If they have any event or celebration, why the people don't have original kings anymore? What we have now are kings of your world. Let me use my father as an example. King Addis Abeba. Those are the ones that will grow as king. When those positions will bring them in those days, and to spend a lot of money, they will look at some of those positions that is going on to probably give some man title. A title that one that does not even exist. Because they pay the king to be happy. They will just come up with a title and give it a title and empower him immediately. Just using it as an example. When we praise God and make God happy. You bring out some tears just to that are scars that the world does not have, that no one has. You bring it out. That mountain is not in the It was praises that our Father Apostle and Mother gave God. That made God to release his blessings into the Yoruba and some of them. It was praises that our Father of Mali gave God there. And God released what the world of them understand into the Yoruba land. This praises was so powerful that God released the throne of the prophets that you can't even understand into your brother. This praises will make God to release some glory to the generation of man. Let me give you some peace. Just go and worship God, praise God for good three months. Don't ask for anything. You that are pensioner that you retire, just go and praise God. Do it hourly, do it for good three months. Just walk with God with praises for three months. You know that some things that are impossible at home will become possible. Those things that look as if it cannot happen will start happening and difficulties will leave your home. Be in an open understanding, be in the realm for praises of God. Let the mind be open. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't let me deceive you. If you say we should praise God here, you will see that through praises you will inherit this street, this area. Don't let me deceive you. 
You can use praises to make the landlord to come and hand over his house to God. You can use praises to get some position for some people which they never qualified for. Brother, I've seen someone that does not have a very good knowledge, but through praises, God gave him the secret of all the leaves of the forest. And that made that person to be prosperous today. Praises unto God. You will not be sick in your body. Praises unto God. You will just be in peace in the earthly. Praises unto God. No one will know your sick. They will know that you are just prospering. You are making progress. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't have any company. I've not established any company. But I know that God gave me that covenant to spend money. I don't beg anyone for money. Don't let me deceive you. My house is always filled with food. Never empty. I'm telling you what God is doing. My house is never empty of food. I'm sorry, sir. I wanted to say something to you, sir. I'm sorry, sir. The thing you have spoken in this only so. I shall be looking at you one day. Only a man will use our mobile store for money of 20 or over so. You have no peace. I said, say it. He says, sir, you are a waster. You are a waster. He was very busy, he said, I have to be out of my peace of mind now. I said, say it. Say, sir. Say, sir. Say, sir. The last penny. He said, your last penny. In my presence, you give it to someone. He transferred that money. And you know, you are not here to give me. I say that is God in my life. I don't have an understanding of it to you. He says, sir, you can I can't say the day man have my peace. Amen. Have you? He now sits down. He was interviewed me. I don't so we were talking together. And just now I was opening my phone. I opened my phone and put it on the table. I opened it in his presence. You will see me. And now he pays the little phone of the phone. Because my own phone, when money comes in, when the last comes in, it actually needs to. He was still talking. He was still interviewing me. About two hours. On that time for about two hours. And the alert needed to sound it. Ten million naira. And I open up the message and I show you. Yeah, that. Only Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> and it's Jesus. I said, no, no, no child Jesus. <laughs> and he had them to put up the camera. Please pray for me. I said, no. You have not committed any sin. You have not committed any sin. 
you to learn from me. Not a sin. Praises will bring someone out of luck. You all know Pastor Kola or my son. When I went last to his church, I said, Look here. By the time I will come back to your church, I'm going to enter into an auditorium. I gave him money and he was surprised. I said, Don't worry. Don't worry. Now, that miracle is taking place now. Praises. Praises. To make your heart to be relieved. To make your heart to be relieved. To make your heart to peace of mind. You just give God praises, you understand what I'm saying better. We can, use, we can use praises to get healing for someone from the hand of God. Many of you that you praise God, you are full of pride. You brought the Lord. Why praise you God? Why praising God, you are bragging, you are still eyeing someone. God is not in those things anymore. Praises of God is good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm so to pray God. 
God to change that day of death to day of life. Our father, Baba Gide, that we are seeing this picture here, that we are looking at here, it is through praises that has power over death. He uses praises. He has also the treasure of God in praises. Baba told us one day, he said, if he does not release himself for death, death cannot get hold of him. And then we say, don't be angry, I made a mistake to have come to you. Because he knows what praises is. It is the second David that we are looking at that our father prophet David Ola of Babajide. God has a lot of things. But praises. Praises. This praises we are talking about. There is nothing he cannot collect or get from God. Let's know how to praise God. Let's know how to praise God. My brother, those as angels came to visit the gave God presence. Paul and Silas. It was praises that opened the doors, the gates of praises for them. It is praises. Nothing else. Praises is so powerful that prayer. Are you hear me? It's not what we can exhaust here. I will break it down for you. The praises is powerful. The prayer. If you look at Genesis to Revelation, is it written there that they pray in heaven? When you get to the book of Revelation, you hear about praises unto God. You hear about praises unto God. Praises is powerful. Hallelujah. One woman, she has used sin and adultery to remove her womb. When she confessed how she has gone about it, God blessed her with all things, but God did not give her children because she has used sin to remove her womb. And she came to seek the face of God. God, what should we do? She has confessed. And the Lord said, Praise me. And God sent angels and they restored and gave her back a new womb. Now, to the glory of God, she has four children now. Praises. 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 Will give you victory, will overcome judgment. Victory will overcome sin. Praises. Hallelujah. If you don't want to praise God, and you've come there to sin, you can give praises to God to overlook your sin. What God will do is that it can be your coming generation that will bear the consequence of the sin that you've committed. I'm telling you the things that may be used to get God. Praises is so powerful. Don't let me see. I don't let that in the land of the apostles that we have now. One day we are going to have to I don't like moving clothes to those that wear white garments. It was God Himself that ministered to me. Said, I'm the one that created them. I'm the one that made them like that. 
I'm the one that brought the throne right away from heaven to the generation of your brother. Said my son, that was taught himself that was ministering to me. That can you show me any generation that God has given them this kind of people? You see this thing they are doing with me? If you don't join them, you don't know what I instructed you to come and meet me here. I'm not going to show myself to you. You might have mixed up with them. And I joined them. I know where I went, where I came. We were clapping our hands. We were clapping our hands together. We got to a certain time. What do you start to me? So you are just clapping. You are not doing the way they are doing. You are not dancing. You will not release yourself. Praise God. It is not true prayer. I want to meet up with you here. You see that thing that they are doing. Lord, I want to use to come and meet you. And I will join them and meet myself and I was clapping. As they were dancing, I was dancing with them, I was clapping with them, I was dancing with them, and I released myself. Hallelujah. God just opened them. He did not hit my head on the floor. I was not saying mysteries, mysteries, mysteries. And that's where I'm always scared of one mountain. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When you go to a particular time, I was one that was not ministering to them. That you can refer yourself to you don't know how God is to you. And God took me into their mystery. I'm not a member of Kevin and Seraphim. The son of Captain Abel called me from America. Okay. The, the daughter called me from America. The, the son called me from America. He said, Abba, please don't be annoyed. He said, I want to ask something. He said, is your father one of the senior prophets among the children of Seraphim? I said, no. He said, how come you know the secret of children of Seraphim? I said, you know you have the keys of praises. I said, when you came himself and released your treasures into my life, praises is so powerful. Praises is so powerful. If you praise God to a certain level, you become the host of heaven. You turn into the host of heaven. You receive in different nations. You turn into the host of heaven. When you turn you to a host of heaven, you'll be at a spot, but you'll be appearing in different places, solving problems, giving people solutions. God has a lot of treasures. It is two praises that we can get it from Him. Know how to praise God. I will not lie to you. Know how to praise God. Psalm 113, verse 4. Psalm 113, verse 4. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory is above the heavens. For his presence who opened the door of his glory. Praises. 
It's so powerful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Learn how to praise God. If you know you are going through one problem or the other and you pray, go back into praises. Your glory will flow back into your life. All those things that you are passing through will be removed. Uncountable millionaires that will be to. God gave us through the grace of praises and we have power over the millionaires. You think I'm lying, I can write books of affliction. Because we know his word, we know how great God is. God is great. God is great. Amen. Amen. He said that the scientists of heaven, he took us to the department of technology in heaven. If the white men that are scientists, technologists, when they get there, they know nothing. Praises is so powerful. Give him his praises. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. This are God is good. Psalm 148, verse 13. Praise it is so good. Let the grace of praises come into your life. It will change you and it will make you a solution to settle in some world. Yes. Some light. Glory overcomes the world. So praise the name of the Lord. Because his praises covers and overcomes the world. Go and be praising God. The Lord said, My son, tell my people to praise me this year. Tell them to praise me this year. The Lord says, Some doors have been shut. In this world that we are in, the Lord says, The living praise that can open it up for my beloved. He said, he said, yes, it is written, my son, that the latter glory will be greater than the former. We are now in that time now. He said, use praises to get it from me. Let me tell you one truth. I'm not proud to exalt myself. I'm not trying to exalt myself. Where are we now? It is through praises that God released the covenant of eternal life into this day. If you are not obedient, that person will die. If you are not obedient to the instruction to the authority of God, you also know, want to establish something here. I don't want the work of I God to have a ground in your hand. It is praises that led to this. If I'm telling you some mysteries, you will be afraid. Let us praise God. Let us praise God. Praise God. Let out to praise God. You just be coming out of problems. You can use praises to destroy the life of enemies. Don't let me deceive you. You can use praises to destroy Asherah. Praises. Praises. 
And that this president will change away this present government out of the throne. When they start hearing the footsteps of the force of heaven, they will run out by themselves. Look at King Joseph. Don't you know that King? The seven Chronicles chapter 20. They use places to destroy the Assyrians. The Bible says, in that their praises, Praises made them to be using their own hand, their own sword to be killing themselves in favor of the Israelites because they did so. So they call themselves Nigerian leaders who can use praises to destroy them. The Bible said he, he said our uh, weapon of warfare is not scanner. But they are mighty. Pull down the places. Praises is part of them. Hallelujah. Be on your feet.
is with someone, God made the person upset you. If you put any, you have anybody in mind today, you have grudges against anyone. All those pressures of heaven are coming with. The one that is supposed to give you the one in your life, they also retrieve it. They will give the someone better than you, you write it down. So it's better here that if you have any, you have no grudges against anyone. If someone is here or the person is far away, pick up your phone. No, don't no share. Even if the person is the one that offended you. I've forgiven you. I'm not more angry with you. If you can do it, something that is meaningful, this week, I'm telling you what the Lord has told me. If you like, I know that my own inner head will not destroy that on the outside. Amen. Because we have generations of the devil, and there is nothing you can tell them. You better want to open up yourself and stop deceiving yourself. They are too many, they are too many. Bond Davarus. Yes. We want to shout Hallelujah. Seven powerful ones. I want glory. You must go and meet seven people. Okay, that person that you think you have grudges with, go and meet that person to shout Hallelujah. Go and check Hallelujah with that person. Let that spirit inside you shout Hallelujah. That spirit of pride that makes you be full of yourself. That will make you to be talking, saying gibberish here and there. You need to shout that in there for that spirit to leave you. That spirit of rebellion. That spirit of lasciviousness. You need to shout hallelujah. That spirit of adoration. You need to shout hallelujah. So that, that spirit will leave you. You need seven people to shout hallelujah. Watch yourself. If you shout hallelujah, the person is not happy. You just be happy. Is a brother that says something to him or her? You are foolish. You are foolish. Amen. The spirit of the devil will destroy someone's life. Thank you for being your boy. 
Hey, Jack, what's up for you, son? How are you doing today? Hey, Jack, what's up for you, son?
se vi no le mu bo mo yi ogogo iba ma se pe mo ni jesu ni baba iba ma se pe mo ni jesu ni baba o o ko ye iba o baba o se o ku ni to and the love of God will serve us only. Just in the sea of only God to me. So we pray. We pray my soul. Oh, my God. 